cabin. Welcome on board. Your cabins are ready for you. And please, if you've not already done so. This is about as clean as you'll see the bathroom all week. Not that we make it dirty, but we're going to have a lot of stuff, so. So we're in nine, four, five, eight. There's Erica. There's our bathroom. The one thing I really like about these newer ships is the shower door. We don't have a curtain. Lots of storage, lots of space for your toiletries. Then we have our bed area here. Look at Erica. Smiling Erica. And then lots of storage. Lots of storage, which is great. We've got a safe, drawers, hangers. Not yet. And we have more drawers here. We have a refrigerator. I think we can adjust it to make it a little colder. It's usually in the back. Lots of USB, some plugs, outlets, vanity, space. Now this is pretty cool. The kids like this feature. Be able to draw this curtain, have a little more privacy, which is cool. And then this is a bunk bed. It's called the uh, Pullman that comes out of the ceiling here. And then we have a bed here that turns into a uh, mattress. mattress. The thing is, I always talk about how you have additional storage on Carnival ships, but not in this case because with this situation, this sofa becomes a bed. But if you're on a regular ship with just the standard sofa, you have drawers underneath your sofa. And so that's good for additional storage. The thing that's nice also with some of these newer ships is we don't have to worry about those big heavy doors that slam. You know, that's always a concern with kids. And you have an additional lock up here. Wait, that doesn't slam, right? That you can lock. Okay, everybody can look down at us right now. Look, you can say hi to the neighbors. So, anyways, Benji and Teddy are back there. And this is gonna be our balcony for the next couple weeks. We got settled in here, we just had something to eat. I always say, the first few hours on a cruise ship are always a nightmare. The elevator is always jam-packed. We're gonna go to the kids club real quick, register, check it out, make sure you guys are registered for tonight. And then we're gonna go to the muster, and then we'll go to the water park, okay? Okay? Um, the thing is, that's not a very late you put it okay. That would be great for any other cruise line, but this is a carnival fun ship. I said make some noise! And join me as we count down to the fun. You would be perfect, dude. We just finished dinner and we're gonna head to the show. Of course, we're stopping for some photos. What do you think that's funny, huh? <laughs> Teddy's parents are taking photos over here and they're giving her father a hard time about his posing, huh? <laughs> Quite a production room, huh? Whoa. So here we 
we are, carnival celebration. Very first uh, sea day. We're just waking up. Um, some initial thoughts didn't take a lot of video last night because I think we were having yeah, too much fun. This is my favorite uh, carnival cruise room. Your favorite part is the privacy? Yes. In a way. Daddy's gonna yeah, like the privacy. And the, and, the, uh, and, the, uh, and the dark light. Oh, yeah. So we can see the TV better. What do you think of the bunk bed up there? They're the same. Yeah, no, pretty standard. Aiden, I know Ethan and Emma slept here. This folds out. It's a surprisingly large and comfortable bed. I folded all this up, put it away. Yeah, so we have space to walk to. So consensus is this is a great balcony cabin, it's junior suite. I'll have to look at the exact category. I'll put that in the video for families, especially five like us in our situation. The interesting thing, the thing that it reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of going on a cruise ship, like back in the day on an older ship yeah. when cabins just generally were bigger to begin with um, they were but bigger back in the old days uh, bigger than most standard balcony cabins or cabins Daddy, actually balconies yeah, didn't Emma, even exist Emma. so you got bigger rooms Emma. bigger rooms but Finish. not bigger than this right not too much bigger like i was saying older ships i mean balconies didn't even exist like maybe an old ship had 10 balconies at the most i mean those were the suites Nobody stayed there. I never stayed there as a kid. I was happy if I got a window. We typically always had an outside cabin, but we'd have like, are you gonna get a porthole? Porthole was like, okay, we got natural light, or are we going to have like a big kind of picture window? Um, and so those were nice when you had a big window with a lot of light. When I say that the square footage of this cabin reminds me of the old cabins, it's because it reminds me of the kind of old cabins that like, this is more rectangular, some of these older cabins were a little more square, but you'd have a curtain like that. As soon as I saw that curtain, it immediately reminded me of an old cabin. So I think it's great for the kids. They have some privacy. I'm going back and forth with having the bed on this side versus the bed over close by the balcony, but it is what it is. And then there's plenty of storage. The only downside maybe with the storage is like when you're laying in bed, you can't really see out the window, but not a big deal, not a big deal. I'd definitely take the storage over seeing the uh, ocean from the bed. And then last night, Mommy, I said this before, going to the uh, restaurant is always a disaster on the first night. So I always suggest if you can avoid it, maybe go to one of the specialty restaurants or one of the ones that are included. Or, or, like a no, reservation. or the no reservation restaurant for sushi. Yeah. Because that has good, that has good food mm. too. Yeah. They because have, they got good soup because everybody's trying to figure everything out it's super confusing the elevators are jammed i mean and this is as big a boat as you'll go on the celebration my suggestion too also if is if you're a new cruiser like i tend to be on suggest, 40 cruises suggest that you go on a smaller ship smaller ships just in general aren't as overwhelming i think they're now, great but especially ships, some of the newer ones have all the all the amenities no, and all smaller the, ships are cheaper not necessarily what I was saying earlier too is that a couple things on the first day of a cruise. Avoid the elevators if you can. Check your bags at the curb because it's a pain. The first few hours walking around with large suitcases. Try to watch one of these videos. I'm not I'm not good at doing that, but there's some great um, guys on YouTube that would give you full detailed tours of your ship. You know, watch one of those videos so you're familiar with it and you know where you're going. And then the first night, if you can avoid the dining room or go early or go late or go one of the specialty restaurants, preferably one of the specialty restaurants um, that's included. Some of the cruise lines, they'll, they'll, they'll give you a special on the first night to eat at one of those restaurants. And then the other thing is um, this cabin, I think has been a great cabin, especially with five people. So um, the last night we had the dinner, had a great dinner. We uh, made a good uh, relationship. What were we gonna say? Also, you want to say something? Yeah, okay. I I also recommend the restaurant for Tepanaki. They do very good things. They cook in front of you, and it's very good. It's just like Benihana's in San Diego, but Benihana's is better. Yeah, but and, yeah, but and they the have food the is fried different. rice. Hey, but it's still very good. I mean, the tapenaki, at least on carnival ships, is connected to Banzai Sushi, so yep. it's usually right next door. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good option. Last night we went to the piano bar for a little bit um, with Eden, and then we went to uh, the Havana Club, and we had a great time. And then after that, we went, obviously, got some pizza, and then came to bed. I also recommend the steakhouse. I even though I haven't tried it. 
It looks. I saw some of the other people's deals. But you've had the steakhouse a few times. Yeah, but that was a different steakhouse. But I saw I saw some of the other uh, people's food, and I saw like the steak. It was like a cooked. It looked really good. Big fat steak. It was good. It looked so good. And there's a bar right next to it. It's just it's inside it, and you can order like beer and steaks too. What's good? I also recommend the buffet. They have a lot of chairs and. You'll always make it, and, and you'll you, always have time you, to make it onto a, 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 a table. But they have very good, they have very good stuff to eat. They have different kinds of foods. That's good. I have to put this on.